Hi everyone, how are you doing? Kamal here and I welcome you all to the hands-on video of Windows 10 Mobile Build Build 10512. In this video, not only we will take you through the uh, hands-on demo of the Build 10512, we will also talk about our impressions of the build and we will also share the bugs and the workarounds that we have seen. We will follow up this video with uh, an article where we will talk in detail what we feel about this Build 10512 and we will list all the bugs that we have encountered. So now coming to build 10512. Uh, this build 10512 arrived after a long wait and uh, uh, in between Microsoft did not uh, release the build 10240 which was widely expected to come after the last build 10166. So in terms of changes from the build 10166 there is <laughs> I mean uh, nothing much to talk about. So you would not be able to uh, find many changes, even in terms of UI, even the small changes are not there. So uh, I mean, now Microsoft when they launched this build, they claim that they have like done 2000 bug fixes. So while uh, we can watch for the build stability, it uh, has actually worked very well on two of my devices, 640 XL and 540. But when we talk about or like when we compare it to the old build, build 1016, uh, we don't see many changes or many uh, much improvement in the stability of thing. Because when we have shared our first impressions, we kind of thought that uh, even, uh, I mean, even if like uh, it's comparable or maybe much more stable than build 10166. But after putting the build in use for uh, some days, so I think we have been using it for last seven eight days. So we can see that the build uh, does not actually stand uh, to, to, the, to the claim of being a very much stable build. So uh, it has its own crashes. So uh, especially when you, when you go to, uh, you know, when your network, uh, network changes, then you can actually encounter many crashes. It crashes, it gets locked up, uh, then you have to do a soft reset. So issues are there, you can have some uh, very uh, peculiar and very visible kind of bugs like with quiet hours. You can see this kind of issue on both of these devices. So here also you can see that uh, <laughs> it keeps on blinking. So even if uh, we, we uh, I mean leave that, but actually when I have put this build into uh, use, then actually while I mean if you talk about the basic things like checking your mail, configuring your Outlook account, etc., then obviously you, you can feel that yeah, some bugs have been fixed. So uh, my Outlook mail is working much better way in a much better way. Earlier it was not as good. Uh, there were some issues while using it, while using the mail, etc., but it's much better now. And and uh, I mean I can I have to say that even uh, since it's working well, maybe there are updates which have come after build 10512 which, which has helped but uh, if you talk about our impressions and if you want our impressions of the comparison of build 10512 with last build 10166 uh, frankly speaking i don't see much improvement so as we say we usually have uh, try to be very positive but no we we have uh, encountered crashes uh, we have seen that we have to do soft reset many times in a day, especially if, you, if your network changes, if you go to other place and your device can reboot. So that happens. That happened with 10166 also, but uh, point is it should have been solved, but it was not covered perhaps in those 2000 bucks fixes. <clears throat> anyway, now coming to the changes uh, since this build has arrived. So as we told, there are no changes uh, worth mentioning in this build over uh, the build 10166 but some apps have gone through uh, some changes so let's talk about those apps so one of the important app has gone through changes and uh, the app is uh, photos so the uh, update has arrived today and as you can see it is a very welcome change the hamburger menu is gone have been replaced with pivot that is a good thing and another very uh, neat change is that now you have albums and collections so easy to access earlier you have to access the hamburger menu first to uh, reach to album from the collection or vice versa 
so it's very good and it's uh, obviously more convenient many may have liked this because now uh, you can actually access everything from uh, here bottom and uh, one more very good feature is that uh, let's say if you uh, select any of the photos now if you go to here you can set as photo style so i mean now uh, from gallery you can do many things you can set a picture as a lock screen you can set it as a background or you can set as a photo tile so that's pretty good let's see how it works and you can see that now uh, the photo style have changed okay apart from this uh, if we talk about camera then the camera app have uh, camera app has also received some uh, good changes uh, which have like made a difference so one of the very good thing or uh, neat feature is that now lenses are here you can pick and choose and use lenses so this feature have uh, has gone missing but now uh, it's back and uh, apart from this if you talk about the devices like Lumia 640, which have got the support or a feature of rich capture, so that also have arrived. And now rich capture works. So here it is. So if you take a picture, let's take a picture of this device. So as you can see now the gallery allows you to uh, use the rich capture modes so dynamic flash so this is one uh, very neat feature which has arrived which have uh, i mean which has come back on the camera app so now coming to how uh, we we talked about the issues or or the uh, stability stability of the build 10512 but let's see how the build behaves while using, uh, I mean, daily or while putting in daily use. So it is usually fast. Things are improving. Uh, I mean, in terms of, especially app crashes are less. They are quite less compared to even build 10166. The animations are, uh, I mean, now they're not much change from one zero one double six, but still they look good. So, uh, if we talk about different things like this, uh mail calendar etc then there is no uh, i mean we can say that i mean the basic things are fine they work good but as i mentioned uh, the most annoying part with the build uh, 101512 is the crashes that you encounter when the network changes when you go out and you see that your device itself uh, gets rebooted under certain network conditions so that is very annoying bug which we have encountered so uh, in a nutshell if have, we have to give a give our uh, impression of the build 10512 after 7 8 days of use then we can say uh, i mean in a very uh, in a very concise way that uh, while the build is uh, very usable the basic things are pretty much covered you can use the build if you are a person who is fine with beta builds you can live with it but there are occasional things occasional crashes or reboots that will happen if you are using it as a daily uh, daily driver and uh, while the app crashes are less even now uh, there are certain apps that crash there is one more issue which we have encountered with the notification of the mail so if a uh, um, i mean notification from the mail appears in the not uh, in the action center if you try to i mean access that it does not open the same mail 
so it will take you the inbox and if you try to go to another inbox from there it's not possible so what you need to do is to uh, uh, i mean close the uh, outlook mail and again open it from the start screen then only it works so there are certain bugs there or certain um, you know nagging issues which can be solved or should be resolved in the next build so uh, this is impression of this build 10512 uh, many people ask whether they can use uh, this build as a daily driver so I can tell you that yes if you are an enthusiast like me then you can obviously use I'm living with this build for 7-8 days yeah and the issues that I mentioned are like uh, they are not I mean <laughs> if you really go out and then encounter an issue you can obviously always go back to build I mean the Windows 8.1 but actually you can you can survive an enthusiast is there because he wants to enjoy new things or check new builds but yes, if you compare to build 10166, then obviously you have to choose your options. Uh, in my opinion, build 10166 did not have this issue of, you know, uh, getting restart under the, I mean, when the network conditions change. So this is one bug that has, uh, I mean, been added with this new build. Okay, so uh, that's where we uh, finish our review of this build. Uh, that's our impression. So hope uh, it is beneficial to you. And uh, for more videos like this, keep watching and stay tuned to Nokia Power User. Thanks.